damn it. How did I enter the wrong room? Hello there. My name is Professor Jordan Ali Callum Indiana Madison Esquire MD PhD. But, you can just call me Professor Jordan. Welcome to a new series on this channel. Where I will explain topics you have learned in school in a brief and fun way. This series is called... Light Lectures with Professor Jordan. Hope you all have made a cup of coffee, as this is going to be a little rough. Today's episode is about logarithms. Don't worry though, yours truly will be there to guide you. So sit back, grab a pen and a book, and get ready to absorb some knowledge. Before we begin, let's recap an important concept for this topic. We say this number is 2 to the power of 4. This is called an index. It represents how many times we need to time the base. To get the actual value. So, 2 to the power of 4 is actually, 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. Which is equal to 16. That, is basically what indices are all about. There are a lot of rules about indices. Or, as it is called, law of indices. But that, is a topic for another day. If you're watching a video about logarithms, you must surely already know about indices. If not, what are you doing here? Anyways, let's move on to logarithms. Side note. We can shorten logarithms to just log. Alright, so, how do indices relate to log? Let's take the previous equation, 2 to the power of 4, equals to 16. This equation is currently being written in the index form. But, it can also be written in the logarithmic form. Log 2 16, equals 4. Do you see how the numbers have changed their positions? The base, has become a subscript, and is now beside the word log. The index, has moved to the right hand side while the value, or number, has moved to the left hand side. Thus, we can conclude that log AEN equals X is the same as A to the power of X equals N. This log form is at the core of our lesson today. You must remember this. Otherwise, you will struggle every time you do a log question. Here are some flash facts about logarithms. Number 1, the base, and the number, must be positive numbers. Otherwise, it will be indefined in a set of real numbers. Number 2, when the base is more than 0, these following statements will be true. Log AE, 1, equals 0. Log AE, AE, equals 1. Number 3, 1, is usually not used as a base for logs. Number 4, logs with base 10 are called common logarithms. They can also be written as just log. Last, but surely not least, number 5. If the value for the number of a common log is given, you can use a scientific calculator to determine the number using the anti-log feature. Alright, now that we know the basics of logs, let's get to the meat of this topic. The laws of logarithms. I will teach you the four basic laws. First, the product law. Log AE, X, plus log AE, Y, equals log AE, X, Y. If you know the law of indices, this is similar to one of them. Basically, if you see the x and y, they are being simplified by being multiplied together. Let me give you a simple example. 
log 4 plus log z equals log 4z. Or, another example with both x and y as numbers. Log 6, 20, plus log 6, 21, equals log 6, 420. Second, the division law. This law is similar to the product law, except this time it's the reverse. Let's say you have this expression, log 9x, minus log 942. You can just simplify it, by dividing the x and y, which will become log 9, x over 42. Let's take another example, log 880, minus log 810. This is equal to log 8, 80 over 10, which equals log 88. Now, do you remember what I said earlier? Right, so, log 88 is equal to 1. Third, the power law. Log a e x to the power of n equals n log a e x. Even though a number is in the log form, it can still have an index. For example, log 4, 5 to the power of y. This is equal to y log 4 5. When the y is in front of the log, it is counted as y times log 4 5. Let me give you another example, to help you understand this better. Say we have an equation, log 3, 15 to the power of y, equals 60. Because of the power law, we can move the y. Now, as I've said earlier, we say this is y times log 3, 15, equals 60. Thus, to find the value of y, we can just easily move the log to the right hand side. However, if your calculator cannot calculate logs with bases other than 10, you can use the next rule to overcome this issue. The final one, the law of base change. Log A, e, B, equals log C, B, over log C, A. E. I assure you, even though this looks complex, it isn't that complicated. Let me explain by using an easy example. Log 2, 7. So, to change the base of a log, first you must know what base you're going to change it into. Let's change the base 2, into base 7. Now that we know what base we want to change into, let's write a fraction, where both the numerator, and denominator, have the log with the base we want. After that, move the number into the numerator, and lastly move the old base into the denominator. And we are done. We have successfully changed the base. See, it's not that hard. Now, let me just simplify this expression. Alright folks, that is all for my lecture today. Remember, my lecture is not a substitute for doing exercises on this topic. What I taught today were only the basics. After this video, make sure you go read your notes, open your textbook, and do some logarithm exercises. Logarithms will take a lot of time to master. I wish you all good luck on your journey of education. Farewell students, Professor Jordan out.